when we have any chemical reaction, like for example the combustion of methane, we have to ensure that it is balanced. Now what do I mean by that? Let's count how many of each element there is. On this side of the arrow, there is one carbon. On this side, there's also one carbon. On this side, there's four hydrogens. However, on this side, we only have two. But how is this possible? They don't just disappear. What actually happens is that multiple molecules react together to produce other multiple molecules. When this equation is balanced, we can see that one molecule of methane reacts with two molecules of oxygen to produce one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. You could do this with trial and error, substituting numbers to see which ones work, but this will take quite a while. So, there's a little trick that I use. First, we balance carbon, then we balance hydrogen, and then we balance oxygen. By doing it this way, we ensure that we're not putting in values, but then having to change them later. Let's try balancing ethene. Currently, there's two carbons this side, one carbon this side, four hydrogens this side, two hydrogens this side, two oxygens this side, three oxygens this side. In order to make up for the difference in carbons, we can add a two here, which means that now there is two times this whole molecule of carbon dioxide. But also now there are four oxygens. So now we have two carbons. We have 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. We have 5 oxygens. Next, we need to balance hydrogen. If there's 4 this side, there's 2 this side. We can multiply this by 2. 2 times 2 gives us 4. So now there will also be 4 hydrogens this side. However, you can see how the oxygen is changing each time. This is why we're balancing it last, so that we don't balance it and have to change it again. Now there's 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 times 2 is 4. We have 6 oxygen on this side in total. To balance it out, we can multiply this by 3, and now we have 6 here. So we can check 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6. Now both sides are balanced which just means that each side has an equal number of each element. Now I'm going to do another example, but make it in a time lapse. You can see once we get to the part where we have to balance this side with the oxygen, we have kind of a problem because in order to balance it, we need to put the number that is half of this. Half of nine is 4.5 and we don't exactly get half molecules therefore what we need to do in order to fix this is multiply this whole equation by 2 if we have 2 of everything then this will become a whole number and we won't have to deal with this problem now, if we want to, we can check that the equation is still balanced. So you see it's still balanced, but we're not dealing with halves of molecules, which is not possible. This is part of an organic chemistry series that I'm making. To see other videos about alkanes, alkenes and more, click on the playlist on the screen.